All right, <clears throat> please excuse the voltage uh, drop a little bit because my battery is essentially dead. It's not, it's not holding up. It's at 12 volts barely, so it's got like maybe two or three bad cells. So for my alternator compensating for that, you can see this one's at 14. That's my main battery. And then uh, there's another battery gauge right down here. Well, it really won't matter because that'll be the, the indicator. It'll, it'll equal out between the two. So um, you can see high beams are on, flashers are on, I got everything going. Um, high beams are on, you can see it's still at 14. Now let's click on the other battery. Now watch, we're gonna link the two, see what happens to the voltage. See it drops a second, rolls back up. And I'm at, um, I'm at freaking, uh, what is it, idle? Now, see how it's 14, 13.9? Let's turn on the radio. And the radio's on. So it's kind of dingling before 14 and whatnot. We're going to turn on the fucking uh, bass and shit and see how loud this thing can go and what can we can do. If you can hear me, we're going to turn it on. Get it loud. Base three, treble four, balance even, loud on. Okay, let's go back. Turn it up. At the Ontario Convention Center, room 204. Positions pay from $16 to $26 an hour with great benefits. CNW Services is an equal opportunity employer. Adrian always loved playing basketball. Then one day, Adrian lost part Back of his out. life in a car accident. Good thing he never lost hope. Hey, you want to play? Now, after getting a new leg at Loma Linda... That's maxed out. Audio. Let's try with the pump on. This thing can dry run for a little while, so I'll just turn it right on. See that pump right there? Yeah, it's pumping out water. Ah! <laughs> Let's see how fucking low the battery are. Still 14, 13.9, 14. That thing's pulling 7 amps. So, so I mean, 7 amps is quite a bit. Yeah, you can still hear it? Boom. So uh, I think that this uh, alternator is able to keep up. Okay, guys. Uh, I might as well finish off with this video right here because this is the end product. Um, you can see I put the little caps on where the uh, four. I didn't put it on that side, but I did on this side. It's a little bright out here. So uh, you can see the little little booty on that that cable to the 12 point which has a uh, cap on that um, I'm not currently using the uh, diodes at the moment I'll just let it run and then I'll see if I can do it the diodes were just a safety a secondary well the switch was the secondary safety measure but now it's become the primary so now I can actually link the batteries and um, and uh, what is it <sighs> Uh, what is it start off the other battery or something like that if I need to um, I know that's everybody usually what they'll do is, is they'll have a starter switch or like a solenoid that has power through a switch that'll do the same thing but uh, my solenoids over there so <laughs> yeah um, yeah you can see everything's pretty much cleared up on this side um, I wanted to show everybody this side you can see the uh, heat sink on top of the GM module that I have, I did the uh, ignition conversion. Um, I don't have the cap on this one. This one won't hold the cap, and neither will that. That tw the 12 point right here. So um, I tried to clean it up as much as I could on this side. I could use probably another all-time power, like over there. You can see there's an all-time power on the wall right here, and um, I can probably use one over here. But I have I'm using utilizing both of them on this side. I'm on, all-time power right here and then the uh, all-time ground right here so both of those are being used for something but um, everything's been cleaned up uh, 
250 amp uh, GM 10 SI from uh, from uh, quality power in Yukaipa. Um, believe me, as of right now, I just showed you guys what it does. I mean, I'm actually quite impressed because this battery is fucking dead. <laughs> and then I nuked a br this battery was like pretty much brand new. It can't be long longer than six months. I've dragged it down with one dead cell already, just trying to do everything and everything with this. So. Um, this one was, uh, I bought that one a long time ago, probably like two years ago. Hopefully it's still under warranty. It's an uh, Optimo, but I'll have to look for where it's at. I know I bought this one at O'Reilly, so I'm just going to go in and prorate this bitch because I don't like the fact that it's at 12.6 right now when, when I first bought it, it was reading at 13, 13 or something like that, 13.2. Like that's how you know you have a brand new battery. And when you drag it down from 13.2, you've pretty much killed a cell. So this one's I've, I think I've killed like two or three because this is now only reading 12 volts. So that's why you saw the alternator reading at 14 instead of maybe 14.2 because it was actually charging this. So it's just going to continually charge this, but this thing can't hold the charge. So um, that's basically done for. I'm going to take this out and just buy a new one because um, if that can't get me, this can, if this is not brand new, then me linking the system is just going to drain this battery even more so um, I don't want to do that I want two new batteries and that's why they recommend uh, isolators when you have two different types of batteries <laughs> so the isolator is supposed to do that job not not that um, that was the whole reason why I wanted this project and I undertook this project was to clean up the uh, clean up the power provide more power and like not more power yeah well i mean obviously with the alternator but more power spots to hook up to so that i'm when i hook up every like new lights and stuff like that i can easily install them especially off this battery as well this battery has nothing really installed onto it but the radio um you can see like i said heat sink don't think i'm ghetto but that provides the cooling effect for my module so uh like i said don't hate but yeah everything is pretty much as it should be so um, I just wanted to let everybody know, yes, that canister is um, zip-tied in. Like I said, go ghetto or go home. Mickey. Uh, Mickey's my best friend. Um, but, yeah, no, seriously, the, this I've, I've worked really hard on this. Uh, like I said, the, you know, the Mickey Mouse parts of it are just because I don't have mounts and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, uh, I hope everybody enjoys this video. And this should be the ending part um sorry my wiring harness is from that side right there seeing that wire go over that was a wire that i forgot <laughs> so um yeah sometimes when you're working ahead and trying to think ahead you forget things so yeah um my wiring harness is all multicolored as you can see everything is multicolored green blue white Green over here, yeah, that's just the tape that I had. I don't think electrical tape really matters when it's being used for the same purpose. So, um, yeah, hope everybody enjoyed the video. And uh, the at idle, it gives me all the power that I need. I can have everything run. Yeah, I uh, hope everybody enjoys this. So if you guys want to, I will provide the part numbers for these. These, the, the, the eight eight pins and everything like that i'll provide the site to get them at um i'm sure everybody knows this is just a what is it a um cole hershey uh hersey or whatever um isolator so you can find those at o'reilly's and everything like that um 80 amp solenoid 250 amp solenoid the 80 amp controls the power to the 12 point the 250 controls power to the battery because and just in case I ever want to an upgrade, I can get the 250 and then put another 250 somewhere right here on that. So, yeah, there's going to be, a, this thing has, this is a 22R, has no power. <laughs> but, it, but it has a lot of power, if you get what I'm saying. So, have a nice day, everybody. I hope you enjoyed everything.